Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to Smog. Now with plasmas and a single additional Rotoblade. In today's episode, we're going to be attempting to get to level 41 in a battle arena, since I haven't actually did a battle arena in quite some time, either on my main account or on the leveling account or in a stream. I just keep a avoiding them, and they are definitely enjoyable, so let's go ahead and get into one of those in just a second. Once we level, we will have access to a brand new thruster, which will mean I will likely be making a brand new flyer in the not so distant future, as now we have new thrusters, new wings, we have the rotor blades, there's a whole heap of possibilities we can actually do now, so here's hoping we can make something fantastic very, very soon. But for now, all I'm going to do is quickly re reinforce this section as I've literally just attached this blade to the back and changed it to plasma. I haven't had any practice with this and honestly I'm not so sure about this rotor's placement. It's going to be a bit of a test in the battle arena today. So I'll be right back as soon as we get into our first battle. And so begins the first battle. Let's get straight into it. So I'm going to wait for my team to kind of move out a little bit with the present box leading the charge apparently. Is that a medic? Yes, that's a medic. Well, we've got a Christmas gift on our side. We are just destined for victory with this. I'm going to try and provide a bit of long range support. I don't really want to get into the main battle honestly with this type of setup. Spot there, bomber. If it gets close enough, I'll try and hit it, but I doubt I will. Ah, not too bad. It was a decent guess, but no. Enemy rail over there. Sadly missed the spot. Boy, that was very rude. Take that. Look how rude this little plasma's being to me. Do you have no shame, red team? At least, I've got, at least I've got him away from the tower for a second. Slowed him down. Oh, don't know what I'm turning for. Let my armor face him. Don't want our rotors to face him. That's something I need to get as I... Um, I need to make that my second nature. To always make sure to face the enemy. Not to try and turn around if I'm under attack. Because I'm so used to regular flyers and simply turning away from the fight. And then firing backwards. Well, we got him away again. And we have two towers to their one. Not a bad start. That could be their rail. My plasma's doing very little damage. Saying that, I haven't had a good all plasma hit yet, so... It really is to be expected. That's their rail. We are still being plasmid, but let's just carry on. Just keep moving around. He's hit me once so far. Oops, didn't let my guns turn, apparently. Let me down, so I can't be plasmid while I'm doing this. Can we get the kill before he gets back? Yes, we can. Excellent. That plasma that's been hitting us has been doing very little. There it goes. Being hit by what I assume is an SMG. Nope, it's the rail over there. Bit of a return volley. Definitely happier with how I've set up the rotors this time. We're just surviving much better. Uh, do I want to heal or do I want to just keep on attacking the tower? Well, we do have a medic, so let's go down see if he's auto healing. I didn't even know they had a copter. Stop him from fully healing. Now he's upside down, so likely his weapons can hit us, but he's not firing for some reason. What type of copter is he? He's big, whatever he is, but... Don't know what type. Okay, I do actually need to heal now, so I'm going to go ahead and just hide on this. Oh, there's someone after me there. 
No, he's just after the tower. Thankfully, by the looks of it, he didn't see me. I'm playing a little bit too much out in the open, honestly, and focusing way too much as well. Not quite used to copters still. Got him. Either way, very happy with that hit. Okay, that's our tower which is under attack currently. Let's try and do some damage to it if we can. Go for the medic first. Being railed, turn around so our armor's facing him, not our rotors, and just carry on. Darn SMG after us now. That shield completely absorbed that shot, didn't it? Wow. I'll go for the tower as soon as that medic's down. I think he might have disconnected or something. He was just floating back. Not exactly the most um, elegant. Actually, it was pretty elegant. Just floating, chilling. I need to start firing a little bit higher, I think. That's the problem. I'm always aiming a little bit too low. Oh, that's a plasma. I thought the box was a uh, medic. Evidently not. We've lost two towers now, not just one. Okay, we're going down. Let's just see if we can get into this crevice here, so we can heal up. Spot the enemy. Thank you, medic. Excellent. Still white to fire, though, so we can get our auto-healing as well. And back up we go. Can we kill him before he can get us to the ground? But the looks of it, we'll be able to as long as he doesn't heal. We got him. We should start going for the towers a little bit more, to be honest. Our armor absorbed two of those shots, which is pretty good. And we still have three rotors currently online. Oh, he's going to get back to the shield! No, he's not! <laughs> there we are. Perfect. They're about to get one of the towers, though, and once that goes down, he'll instantly respawn, so let's just start moving, shall we? Rail line. Yep, we already respawned. Our reactor's under attack, so I need to keep an eye out on for that. Although we have a lot of people back at the base, so that's absolutely fine. No harm there. SMG and rail fire. Best to go down for a second. Not going to try and get in a dogfight with that, but just end up with me losing. A lot of his guns removed there. Actually, no, none of his guns, all shields. And we got him again. Though that plasma's probably. No, it's a medic, okay. I thought as a plasma, I was about to say he's going to get a really easy hit on me, but thankfully, wrong bot. We are leading in, in overclock, but they are leading in just capping the towers. We need to focus a bit more, I think. Including myself, in fact, speaking for myself more, more than anything else. Their rail's trying to get me, so we need to stay a bit low, but staying low means the plasma's going to get a good chance to hit me. Bit of an awkward position. Here we're in plasma now, let's move out of it. Honestly, I just want the tower. I don't mind dying for the tower at this stage. Oh, it's a copter. Oh, almost took out the tower. Okay, let's get the tower before we get killed. Yes, excellent. Go down for a heal. Then we'll try to move out to the enemy last tower. If at all possible. Spot, spot. I really want to win this one now at this point. I'm quite invested in this battle. Rail again. Although one of our SMGs has found him, so. 
very happy I have so many rotors now. Definitely want six though still. Five I still feel isn't quite enough. Also I feel like healing up is definitely the better move now. Let's go into the mountain so he can't hit me. Do I think that plasma bomber might try it yet? Yeah, thought so. Yeah, we hit him. Excellent. Take that. You scallywag. Uh oh. This is bad. We can't fly right now, so... Someone can aim at that copter. That'd be fantastic. If I can get to the medic, it'd be good as well. Hello! How you all doing? Good. Yes! We got the bomber. Excellent. I have absolutely no control of my bot right now, so trying to defend the medic as much as possible, but without movement, that's pretty darn difficult. A little bit too high, we're kind of avoiding the medic's beams right now, which isn't smart. Got the kill anyway. I am pretty happy with smog. And that's going to be annoying. That's our last tower, isn't it? If we can get this last tower, that'd be fantastic, although a lot of support's coming their way, so... Focus on the tower, we need to get this tower down. SMG fire at us, just keep on moving up and down a little bit, make it a little bit more disorientating for them. Plasma rig. Oh no, they just got one of our towers, darn it. He needs to learn to burst fire. There's their copter. Hello. Hopefully that took out one of his rotors. I think he might be able to fly on one rotor. Oh, however, I don't think he, I don't think he can fly on zero rotors. Vengeance from all the times he hit me so far. Hit the flyer in the back. Don't think I did too much to it though, sadly. Need to get him down before I go for the tower. Otherwise I'll be SMG to death. Face the wrath of maximum overclocking plasma. I keep saying go, go for the tower more, but then I keep on going for the players. Took out a couple of his back weapons. I think he's only got one or two weapons left. That's it. Expose your weak side. Now I'll go for the tower. I feel a little bit safer now, plus a lot of our team was actually distracting them. Our reactor's under attack as well. I'll go back there as soon as I've capped the tower. That's the plan, at least. Do I stick to the plan? Not very often. Anyone who's dead just got an instant respawn on our team. If that still actually happens, by the way, I'm not sure if that still happens. A lot of tweaks to the battle arena has happened. We're already we're already defending our reactor. Okay, in that case, I'll go for the tower. The plan has changed. One seam down. Let's go to the next. Well, it missed the target it was actually after and hit another one. That's okay then. Push a little bit to their reactor. Oh, he flipped. What a shame for that rail. Flipping hell, I'm sure he thinks. Not sure if it's an SMG or a plasma. SMG, okay. Oh, I thought you were a cruiser, the little white guy. That's why I was so surprised. That's why I didn't know who he was. Oh, he's actually doing really well. I'm missing every single shot. Well, we've got one direct hit at least. We're a bit too close now, so we can just hold down fire and do a lot of damage to me. Okay, I need to, I need to move away and get healed at the stage. Uh oh, rail. He won't get the kill on me. I know that much. And our team is coming here to, to, to now distract him and probably kill him, so we are fine. Thank you very much, medics. The medics have been great this game. Saved me several times. Let's see if we can remove their medic from the battle. And a bit of damage to the rail while we're at it. If 
we can stay here for a little bit longer, we're going to win right now. So I'm going to ignore him and just go straight for the seams. I maximum overclock plasma. I'm pretty good against this, honestly. Okay, one last seam. Do a little bit of damage to him if we can, just slow down his damage. One more shot. Yes, victory! A lovely first battle arena. That was really, really good. And definitely going to level us up, at least. I really hope so. Sorry if I was a little bit quiet, though, during the recording there. I was so focused on trying to keep the helicopter in the air. I need to practice more with helicopters. So I'm going to play a load of games in Battle Arena and Team Deathmatch off-camera so I get a bit more experience with it. I'm used to normal flyers, not to copters. Either way, we have the new thruster, and of course, we have a little bit more CPU to spend. One thing I did find out, which kind of disheartened me a little bit, is that the curved aero rods are actually level 59, and I really wanted those soon so that I could have extra blades, basically putting these a little bit further to the left so it makes this section a little bit easier, because I'm not too sure how I'm going to add the sixth blade at the moment. Of course I'll find out when I actually have, have enough CPU to mess around, but for now I'm not too sure. So let's get into a team deathmatch. Maybe we can get to level 42 by the end of the episode. And so begins the Team Deathmatch. Now, sadly, we just got the notification that Robocraft is about to go into maintenance mode. So we have around about five to six minutes before that actually occurs, if the notification is to be believed. So here's hoping we can finish the battle before then, or simply get killed. One of the two. I'm hoping to finish the battle, though. That's definitely the better outcome. Are we going to play defensively, or are we going to be a bit more aggressive this time? If I was playing a regular flyer, some form of aerofoil plane, I would definitely be more aggressive. But as we're a copter, we can just kind of bounce around the mountains and try and use that to our advantage. Give him a quick pl plasma volley. Just about under- Oh, they have a flak! They have a flak being careful here. We'll hit him. Don't think we took out the weapon though. The SMG there is firing at us. Bit of return fire once again. The flak there. Not leading his shots, thankfully. Meaning that he missed pretty much everything. We have lost two rotor blades. Though. Sorry, one rotor blade. I keep thinking we actually have six, because that's what I want to have. Healing up. Bit of damage to their SMG there. Not much, but still. Direct it on the gun. Sally didn't take it out, but can we take out the bot? He's literally just a flak cannon. Well, we took out the flak, so that's okay. Okay, spin around so our arm is facing the enemy, so we don't lose both of our rotors. I'm trying to go behind this mountain here. If we lose it now, it'll be okay. Just need to stay back. I'm really glad we killed the flak, though. I love that the flak was over 20% of his CPU. So he just simply became a flak cannon once he took enough damage. On. Trying to hit that would be very difficult, so we could just focus on that guy there. Excellent. I will say, Smog is getting sturdier and sturdier though, because we got in quite a bad position there and just simply survived. Ugh, trying to hit one of these things. Take that! And we kill it. Not a bad game at all. And considering maintenance is just about to hit, perfect timing for a very quick battle. So today I've had quite a bit of fun, and I've figured out a few things I need to improve on in terms of my play style, and a few things I need to improve on in terms of the overall style of the bot. Also, we leveled up. Excellent. A little bit closer to having the walker legs. Now, once I have the walker legs, what I'm going to do is probably build some form of flying walker hybrid, most likely a rail, possibly a plasma, in the style of my old bot called Moop, but this time just designed a lot better. Since I have got better at building robots since the old days, I'm still not particularly great, so I don't take into account a lot of the basic building, um, the basic building ideals, such as triforcing and such, because I just don't want to spend that much time designing my craft, because I constantly swap between flyers and stuff. But either way, that's kind of what we'll, we'll be doing next time, hopefully, if I've leveled up enough. I've had a lot of fun, and what I'll be doing is putting this on the workshop, since people asked me to put on the different versions. One more rotor. 
plasma, more armor. Yay! Everyone is happy. And with that, oh, <laughs> well, I'll put it on in a little while. With that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. And tell me, what type of bot would you like me to build with the walker legs? Of course, these aren't the mech legs. These are the old style of legs, the ones which can actually walk up cliffs and such. Would you like it to be a flyer walker hybrid? Would you like it to be some form of wheel walker hybrid? What types of weapons? I would love to see what your opinions are on that. Once again, thank you for watching, and goodbye.